Alright guys, welcome to another Nebulous Nerd video. That's me, Nebulous Nerd. Um, I'm playing Darkest Dungeon. I've never played it before, although I've heard some things about it. Uh, dungeon Crawler, Permadeath, uh, kind of got some Oregon Trails vibes there. Um, so, we're gonna see what this is about. It did give me a little introduction to the story, basically Old House on a Hill. They dug under it to find a portal because the rich guy who owned it was looking for more excitement in his life outside of his rich opulence. Congratulations. You unleashed hell, and now he's asking us as family to come and close the portal somehow. Right after the introduction movie, there was a little blurb that had some very fun Dark Souls vibes to it, basically saying, hey, you're gonna die, you're gonna fail a lot. And, um, okay, that's gonna be a thing, so, you know, this might turn into a nerd fails video, who knows? Let's see what happens. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Okay. There is a sickness in the ancient, hidden cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Not sure how often we're going to hear from the narrator, because I feel like he killed himself during uh, the introductory movie. Definitely heard a gunshot uh, at a very suggestive point, but I don't know. Maybe he'll be our narrator for the whole game. With the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. Oh, joy of joys. You are currently in a room. Oh, thanks. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay, so... Well, is there anything to... Oh! Interesting. Alright, move to this Brigands room. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. A to move forward, D to move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. No, no, that works great. Okay. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot, or there are no valid targets. The skill... Oh, mouse over the skill to see the requirements. So I guess... Smite you! Surges as the enemy crumbles. Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory, too. Press the circle button to close this window. Oh, I guess you can play with... Eh, whatever. Totally. Moving right along. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Someone has camped here recently. Check inside the tent. 
Someone left valuables. If only treasure could staunch the flow. Dull green like rotting flesh. Oh, it's got value. Ah, for now. I mean, I imagine Leave I can nothing always unchecked. remove it. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Can I not move any further? There we go. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. decision to make. That's alright. Yay, dodged. Ouch. Owie. Hey. All we got, huh? Prodigious All right, size he's alone dead. does not dissuade the sharpened blade. He's almost dead. Again, I'm not looking so good myself. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. All. An oil painting of some distant family relation. A sigil of honor. Citrine. Bandages! Yeah, I like that. After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. That is good to know. Probably veterans of Darkest Dungeon gameplay are going to laugh at me for the stupid shit that I do, but whatever. Oh, of course. And we're walking! You salvage the unburned torch. Yes! Waiting to be spent. This is interesting. Oh, here we go. Let's fight! Judgment is divine grace and elimination. Sure. Oh, it missed though. That's lame. That's Golden Vapors, buff target, disorienting blast. Executing oh shit! With when most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and would will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use ranged skills, push full skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. will suffer stress. Hmm. Does any, no 
nobody really needs any healing though. I don't want to waste the uses, but whatever. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. A long forgotten strong box sits on the cold stone floor, its contents unknown. Wealth Shovel, measure, portrait, and a bust. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Falls. One down. A faint hope blossoms. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Confidence surges as the Death. enemy crumbles. Why, yes, please. Thank you very much. We got left, huh? Select the destination. Curio or treasure? Aji. Oh, wow. That sucked. The blood oh, quickens. a victory nonetheless. Oh yeah. What is this? Sure. Okay. Oh 
Oh, jeez. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. When heroes can't take the stress anymore, they become afflicted. This manifests in different behaviors and stat changes. Afflictions last until you send them to treatment in town, unless you can reduce their stress to zero during the quest. Oh wow, that sucks. Oh shit, he's gonna die. They keep targeting him. Another one. One down. It's always a good thing. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. It's better than nothing. Items. Any collected bottles of the blood will be retained be in your eaten. estate at quest end. They may be added to the provisions of embarking parties. The blood is rare. Spread it around wisely amongst those in need. What does it actually do? I don't understand, but okay. Time, you Over will time, some negative quirks will lock into place failings. and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in the sanitarium. How do I... Blacksmith Guild? Uh, 
gonna be sanitarium. Oh no! Alright, well, it's been fun, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.